Does anyone know the name David Warren and what it might mean to aviation? No? Well, I think you should. His nickname was Bunny Warren. <laughs> Rabbit Warren, we were doing a little bit too much. <laughs> He was born um, probably in the 19, early 1930s in Melbourne. His father was killed in 1934 in the DH-86 that crashed uh, between Melbourne and Tasmania. And he probably grew up thinking that it was a bit of bad luck, that there was no record of his father. The only thing they found was one seat, one chair, which was washed up on the Tasmanian shore. <clears throat> he was a bit of a spark man, and at an early age was making crystal sets and selling them. He was fortunate to get a university education in chemistry, went to England and got himself a doctorate. But in the background, he was always thinking about recording the parameters of flight. And so it was he who came up with the um, cockpit voice recorder and the flight director. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, one of them. <coughs> <laughs> so it was a rather primitive device. And when he presented it, the airline pilots of Australia said, we don't want that. It's like having Big Brother in the cockpit with you. The Air Force looked at it and said, we don't want that, because it would probably record more expletives than information. And the government looked at it, the <coughs> Department of Civil Aviation, as it was in those days, and they said, well, we're not interested either. So he put it on the shelf. He kept on working on the device and got to the stage where <coughs> it had become reasonably useful. He was prompted on a number of occasions with aircraft accidents to keep working on it. When a Viscount crashed in Queensland at Winton, he thought that there was an opening for him. <coughs> it didn't happen. And when the F-27 of TAA descended into the ocean off Townsville, is it Townsville that it went Mackay, in? Mackay. Mackay. Um, there was a court case over that, and in the court case, the judge directed the Department of Civil Aviation to con continue the studies in that area and to introduce it. And so the Department of Civil Aviation, DCA, in their wisdom, let out a contract to America to develop this device. And so Bunny Warren received no credit for its development, nor did he receive any financial return for it. And it wasn't until relatively recently that Time magazine listed the 100 most underestimated people in the South Pacific. And he was one who was listed. And it was then that people woke up as to what Bunny, Bunny Warren had done. I researched this on the internet and <coughs> started putting together a PowerPoint show and I got photographs of his devices, his early devices, and photographs of the later devices, so-called black box. If Chris Beattie was here, I'd have a word with him because he wrote a letter to the editor just recently, WA newspaper, saying, why is it called a black box? Because it's orange, right orange. <laughs> Anyway, a couple of the facts, and I'm, I stand to be corrected on this because we've got some professional aviators looking at me right now. But um, I understand that the latest devices are separate. One records the flight parameters and one records the voice on the cockpit. I think, according to the internet, they cycle every 24 or 25 hours. The one that records the flight parameters records 88 tracks and the cockpit voice recorder records what's going on in the cockpit. And so uh, Warren died 
last year. Yes, last year. And uh, it was a shame we didn't, or I didn't become aware of this because we would have uh, had a word to say about it uh, at the time of his passing. So there you are, there's uh, Bunny Warren, David Warren, um, the man who invented uh, the device which is so prominent these days. I learned off the internet that the current devices are built to withstand 3,400 Gs. So when you're pulling two and a half Gs in a steep turn, just think of what uh, three and a half, three point four thousand of them would be like. They're designed to come free of the aircraft as well so they don't uh, end up uh, in the mass. So that was my research during the week and I found it very, very interesting.